Many of us have felt a calling, a sense that something profound is happening in our lives. So today, we're going to explore a sacred level of our evolution, the fifth dimension of consciousness. But what is the fifth dimension? And how can we tell if we are already living in this state of spiritual elevation? There are signs, subtle indications that point to this dimension where you discover your own spiritual awakening. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into the unknown, uncovering the secrets, wisdom, and mysteries behind this dimension. But the most important thing we'll explore is how the fifth dimension can transform your life. Now that we've entered this spiritual dimension, it's time to understand what exactly the fifth dimension is. This dimension is more than just a location. It is a state of being, an expansion of consciousness. In the fifth dimension, love overcomes fear and unity transcends division. It is a dimension where spiritual growth and profound evolution take place. As our journey unfolds, we will explore in detail the signs that indicate you are already in the fifth dimension. But I can already tell you that it involves the feeling that the world you knew is changing, the spiritual awakening that leads you to seek a deeper purpose, and the feeling that your senses are becoming more finely tuned, allowing you to perceive the invisible and hear the inaudible. Imagine for a moment that you live in a world where judgment and criticism are replaced by compassion and acceptance, where you feel connected not only to other human beings, but to nature, to the universe as a whole. In this state of elevation, the feeling that the world you knew is changing, and so it becomes clear that something extraordinary is happening. It may seem strange at first, but in the fifth dimension, it's an opportunity to grow and evolve spiritually. The spiritual awakening that leads you to seek a deeper purpose is like the seed of self-awareness that begins to sprout. You begin to question the meaning of life and look for ways to make a positive contribution to the world. The feeling that your senses are becoming more finely tuned is like a sensory awakening. You may begin to notice the beauty in the little things, the synchronicity that seems to guide your path or have sharper intuitions about what is right for you. It's important to understand the process of ascension that accompanies it. Ascension is the journey that takes you from three-dimensional reality to the fifth dimension of consciousness. Think of spiritual ascension as a journey of deep self-reflection in which you confront your inner fears and shadows. It's a path that requires courage and authenticity because it's at this point that you face the unresolved aspects of yourself. This may seem challenging, but remember that ascension is not a phenomenon to be feared. It is a wonderful connection with your higher self. It's a search for your true essence, an encounter with your inner divinity. It's like a visit to your own soul where you find wisdom, clarity, and healing. One of the most challenging parts of ascension is the dissolution of the old. Sometimes this means that relationships can come to an end, careers can change, and friendships can dissolve. The pain of leaving behind what is familiar is real, but it is a necessary part of the process. Remember, what is falling apart is making room for something more authentic and meaningful in your life. For the fifth dimension is a state where truth and authenticity reign, and that includes the true expression of who you are without masks or disguises. As you navigate this ascension journey, you may experience what are called ascension symptoms. These can include unexpected changes in your body, mind, and emotions, but see them as symptoms of growth, not illness. The more deeply you dive into your spiritual ascension, you'll discover that your new life is a version you've always dreamed of. It's not a separation from the past, but a realignment with a greater purpose and a more courageous and enlightened version of yourself. It's a journey that takes you to a higher state of being, where peace, compassion, and love are the driving forces. As we move forward on this journey of spiritual ascension, 
it is crucial to approach the issue of toxicity in our lives. Toxicity can take many forms, from harmful relationships to negative environments to toxic thought patterns. Dealing with toxicity is a vital step in our spiritual evolution. Imagine toxicity as dark clouds that obscure the sun of your true self. When you allow toxic relationships, negative environments, or destructive thought patterns to remain in your life, these clouds obscure the light of your soul, and the fifth dimension is a place where light should shine. During your ascension, you may begin to notice that certain people or situations no longer resonate with your spiritual journey. You may feel a disharmony, a sense of discomfort. This is a sign that it's time to move away from toxicity. Remember that moving away from toxicity is not an act of judgment or condemnation. It is an act of self-love and self-care. As you rise spiritually, you become more sensitive to the energies around you, and negativity can profoundly affect your well-being. The act of setting healthy boundaries is an essential part of dealing with toxicity. Saying no when necessary is not being selfish. It's a way of protecting your own light. It's having the courage to love yourself even when it might disappoint others. As you free yourself from toxicity, you'll notice that your mind becomes more peaceful, your body feels lighter, and your spirit rises. You become like a finely tuned instrument, ready to create harmony and beauty in your life and in the lives of others. So remember, prioritizing your own well-being is not selfish. After all, how can we help others if we don't take care of ourselves first? Your inner peace is your greatest treasure and by protecting it, you become a source of light for yourself and others. As we continue our journey into the fifth dimension of consciousness, we come to a crucial point, discovering our spiritual purpose. Spiritual purpose is like the compass that guides our journey and connects us with our true essence. Imagine your spiritual purpose as a star, shining with a calling that is unique to you. As we ascend spiritually, this star becomes more vivid and the call becomes clearer. You begin to understand that you are here for a reason that your life has a greater purpose. Finding your spiritual purpose is like discovering a part of a puzzle that was missing. You feel complete, connected to something that is bigger than yourself. Because your purpose is not just about what you do, but about who you are. Like a beacon of light, your spiritual purpose not only illuminates your path, but also the path of others. You become a guide, an example to those who are still searching. And by fulfilling your purpose, you help raise the vibration of the planet as a whole. If you're trying to figure out what your spiritual purpose is, you can start paying attention to what you're passionate about, what makes you feel alive. Ask yourself, what am I most passionate about? What contribution would I like to make to the world? Remember, you can do what you love and still help people with it. Your spiritual purpose can manifest in many ways. It can be serving others, creating art, healing, teaching, or anything that aligns with your passion and talents. The important thing is that your purpose is rooted in love and compassion. As you connect with your spiritual purpose, your life becomes an expression of your most authentic self, your higher self. You become a force of love and positivity in the world. And in doing so, you not only enrich your own life, but also inspire others to find their own spiritual purpose. We all play a fundamental role in this great puzzle of life. And as you discover your spiritual purpose, you become a valuable piece of that puzzle contributing to the creation of a more loving and conscious world. Another very important point is the deep connection with nature. Nature is more than a panoramic backdrop. It's where we find the wisdom that holds the deep secrets of life. Think of nature as the oldest and wisest book on earth, written on every leaf, stone, and wave. It contains the stories of creation, balance, and harmony and the fifth dimension is where these stories come to life. 
Have you ever felt an inexplicable call to nature, an attraction to forests, mountains, or the sea? This attraction is not accidental, but a reminder that nature knows your soul. It knows that you are here to participate in something greater, something that transcends everyday concerns. When you connect with nature, you connect with the deepest essence of your being. It's as if your soul recognizes an old friend. In the fifth dimension, this connection is a vital part of your spiritual journey. Nature doesn't judge, it simply is. And this wisdom is a fundamental lesson for the fifth dimension. Moreover, nature plays a vital role in raising your spiritual vibration. It recalibrates your frequency, helping you to tune in to higher energies. You become more aware of your place in the universe, recognizing that you are not separate from nature, but part of it. This connection is not just a spiritual quest, but an act of healing. For nature nourishes our soul, restores our balance, and brings a sense of deep peace. So, when you're in contact with nature, whether you're walking in a forest or on a beach, for example, feel the ocean breeze, watch the stars in the sky, watch the sun, and remember that you're taking part in something great. For the fifth dimension is not just a state of being, but a journey of growth, healing, and connection. And nature is the gateway to the fifth dimension, and your connection with it is essential for your spiritual evolution. In this exploration of the fifth dimension of consciousness, we cannot underestimate the power of authentic relationships. These relationships are like mirrors that reflect the truth of our being. Authentic relationships are like spiritual connections where the surface is not enough. They go beyond masks and social roles. They are a place of truth and unconditional acceptance. In authentic relationships, you don't have to hide. You can be who you really are with all your imperfections and greatness. And it is in this authenticity that true connection flourishes. Instead of superficial conversations, authentic relationships allow for deep and meaningful dialogues. They are not just based on what is said, but on what is felt. And it is in this space that mutual understanding and support grow. When you connect authentically with others, you become part of a network of love and support. You share and receive wisdom, love, and compassion. You are a light for others, and they are a light for you. In authentic relationships, there is no competition or judgment, only acceptance. As you raise your spiritual frequency, you will naturally attract people with similar vibrations. You'll find connections that go beyond the physical, connecting spiritually with others who are also seeking growth. But remember that authentic relationships don't just come from the outside. They start within you. By getting to know yourself and embracing your authenticity, your true essence, you become able to create more meaningful relationships with others, with people who resonate with you. These authentic relationships not only enrich your life, but also contribute to raising the collective consciousness. As we come to the end of this journey, I want to share something with you. This fifth dimension is not a distant place. It is a state of being that already resides within each of us. We are all part of something bigger. Our actions and choices have an impact not only on ourselves, but on the entire universe. Every act of love, compassion, and authenticity raises the frequency of the planet. So remember that you are a fundamental part of this great puzzle of life. Your light is needed, your authenticity is a gift, and your purpose is real. May your journey be filled with light, love, and profound discoveries. Continue to rise and shine your light, for the world eagerly awaits your unique contribution. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.